Hey everybody, um, just doing a little video blog update for you guys um, after the first day of the uh, Rolex 24 hour weekend um, in 2012 here. Um, kicked off uh, this morning with uh, practice in the GT car. Um, a couple new guys to the team who weren't at the January test uh, hopped in early and uh, they got some laps in the car this morning. Um, and then I was actually over concentrating kind of on the, the uh, GS car today for the most part uh, just because I hadn't driven it at the test before and uh, didn't get to drive it much this morning actually. Uh, JF drove it a bunch this morning. We had some little issues that uh, he was working out in the car uh, from the last time they had it out on track and uh, so he drove most of the morning. Um, and then I hopped in the GT car in the second session and uh, I only got like half a lap. Uh, one of the Action Express Daytona prototypes blew up and caught fire in front of me in a big way um, and the session got black flagged uh, and I think they actually they repaired that car and I think that DP actually ended up on pole for the race um, so those guys are, are not out of it by any means um, but I, I didn't get much running this morning uh, so I went back over on to the GS car this afternoon put a few laps in on that thing felt great um, and then had qualifying at 530 and qualifying was a mess. <laughs> uh, had a bunch of guys spinning, crashing, going off track, and it's only a 15-minute session to begin with, so it was pretty short. Uh, I think I got one flying lap um, the whole time, and it was with traffic in the bus stop. Everybody was doing a mad dash, mad scramble to try and get their lap in, and um, I was trying to hook up with, with my teammate, with John Ferrano and the other BGB car. And uh, he was in the mess of, of five or six other cars, and there was guys, you know, sliding and spinning and just making it really difficult to put a clean lap together uh, instead of everybody working together to, to draft and, and go faster. So that didn't go great. Uh, I think we ended up 17th uh, with our one flying lap. Um, the car's got good potential, though. It's running well. And uh, we're just looking forward to tomorrow to try and get things back on track. Uh, I did drive the GT car uh, tonight, though. Um, did some laps. Um, yeah, it was good. It was good. I mean, it was pretty much the same as I remember it. I think I did eight or nine laps tonight. Um, did some 52s, 53s, not really pushing that hard. This weekend, is, it's kind of tough. Uh, we don't want to really push hard to try and learn and find more speed. It kind of is what it is at this point. So we're okay. We're happy with that. The other guys got some good running at night, and then uh, my co-driver, Daryl Schaff, was in the car right after I was, and he hit some oil on the front straightaway at about 175-ish miles an hour, and actually spun out uh, on the front straightaway. Um, did about five or six or seven, or who knows how many big rotations down the front straightaway. I mean, it sounded terrible. It sounded like he was going to have a big, big impact, but he just like scraped, just brushed the wall, just, just the tiniest little bit with the front bumper, just cosmetic damage really really lucky we dodged a big bullet in that so that was good and then Scott Reddick took the car back out did a couple laps after they made sure everything was straight put a new set of tires on uh, cleaned out the seat and uh, he thinks the car is good so we're happy with that we're gonna go out in the morning just bed in uh, some brakes bed in some axles new transmission all fresh stuff getting ready for the race for the 24 hours tomorrow to, uh, well not, sorry, not tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. And then we're gonna park it, uh, park the GT car and I'll focus on the GS car. We've got one more practice session to kind of iron out the last few little bugs in the GS car before we go racing. So looking forward to that. And then the other thing I wanted to show off was my new helmet. Um, Mike Savage did an awesome job. I literally sent him my brand new helmet uh, about a week and a half ago. And he turned around, made up an awesome quick design off of what we talked about. Got it painted, uh, got it delivered to me to the track, right on time. Um, so I'll uh, turn the camera around here and show you guys if I can. Oh, maybe I can't. Hang on a second. So that's the new lid. Mike Savage, Savage Designs. Came out awesome. Thanks, Mike. And uh, if you're going to be at the track and you see me walking around with this lid on, come say hey. Thanks, guys. I'll try and do one or two more of these uh, at the track throughout the weekend and give you guys updates. Let me know if you like this stuff, uh, if you want to see more, if you want to see less, whatever. Thanks. Bye.